Super Dave here for another review. Super Dave here with another exciting review for you today and one that I have been looking forward to because the Storm Collectible stuff to me is just very high quality. I've really enjoyed the Storm Collectibles and this is a Gears of Five review. This is Marcus Phoenix. I'm not that familiar with Gears of War games but this figure just really caught my eye. Uh, in some of the reviews that I watched. I'm just very impressed with this particular guy. So I wanted to get him and check him out because I, I was just really just impressed with some of the features that he has in his articulation. And, and the biggest reason is because I have enjoyed some really big hitters like, yeah, really? I mean, this guy is awesome and his articulation is even more awesome. I mean, you know, just tell me about it. And then... Uh, of course, some of the Mortal Kombat uh, ninjas love these guys, their, their posability and their look and their feel and just everything about them just to me is just fun and enjoyable to mess with. And then even some of their Street Fighter, I'm not into all the Street Fighter ones, but this guy I really like because he fits in with my Masters of the Universe uh, characters and I've even used him in the Masters of the Universe uh, mo my diorama movies. This guy is part of King Grayskull's council, actually. Yeah, Ryu. So he's cool and his posability. So I just really like him. And then probably one of my favorites, which I did a review on my channel, is of course Prince Goro. I mean, this guy is absolutely a beast and probably one of my favorite non-Motu Classics characters in my collection is Prince Goro. I mean, there's just no way you can... I mean, it's hard to improve on on this guy as far as his muscularity, his articulation, his look, the detail, his paint apps, uh, one of my favorites. So because of that and seeing some of the reviews on this guy, uh, um, GameStop had a uh, exclusive of this guy and I saw him in the store but the color scheme on that, especially the weapons, I was not impressed with but this is the Gears uh, 5 version of Marcus Phoenix. Let's break him out of the package. Of course, there's a picture of him there on the side with his uh, rifle. There's a good pick close up of him there. Um, and then and see he's got that silver with the blue trim. That's what I liked about this particular version. And that his weapons are more realistic looking without all that blue and orange and red stuff that was on the uh, GameStop exclusive. So to me, I just like the look of this one better. It comes with three heads, a lot of articulation, and 30 points, I believe is what it says on here. Uh, yeah, 30 points of articulation and a lot of weapons. So let's break him open and check him out. If you want to read that, you can, certainly can. But there you go. Let's check him out. All right, here is our guy out of the package. Just very impressive very nice looking action figure very amazing in its realism from his clothes to his gear all the detail the paint apps uh, I'm telling you these are the reason these figures are price pointed where they are because they're no joke I mean they have you know of course your statues are very expensive on all kinds of you know, characters and movie characters and action gaming characters and superhero characters. But when it comes to Storm Collectibles, when they design a 30-point articulated action figure with three heads, um, four sets of hands, several guns, look, you don't, I don't think you get any better than this. I mean, this is just one of the uh, standards, if you will, of... Um, detail and quality and build and the I mean this guy's heavy you know he's seven inches and we'll check that when we get to the review booth but he's about seven inches I believe he's at seven inch scale anyway and uh, the texturing I mean he's just really nice I'm impressed already um, 
I, I so much am glad that I waited for this one instead of trying to buy the GameStop exclusive. That's just me. Uh, I have to be selective what I spend my money on. And I really wanted to wait for this one because I like the color scheme. I love the gray, the browns, and the blues, and the silver. Um, and, you know, he's almost identical in every way to that character except for his color scheme, uh, even down to his accessories. So there he is. And let's look at his, um, you know, accessories first, of course. Just take a, gl a glance right quick at those boots. That was one of the things that sold me on this character was the, uh, uh, you know, I just love the look of those boots. Belt buckle there, you can see. Just amazing all the way around with this guy. Really cool. Marcus Phoenix. So neat. All right. Let's look at his accessories. All right. Here we are checking out our Marcus Phoenix or Phoenix character. Just so awesome. He's in this uh, techno lab here where they're checking on some things before sending him out on a mission. And so let's take a look at our star character here and some of his awesome accessories and articulation. So first of all, he has these fisted hands. That he comes with. And then he comes with the booger picking. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's the Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, that's not it either. No, these are actually pointer hands. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so cool. I like that though. But you, he can point, or he could also. Shh. And then he has these hold hands. You see this one over here that allows him to hold something like a grenade or even his rifle. But then this one's open just a little bit more. You see, it's kind of an odd shape. It, it grabs uh, so that it can go in that little section there, which actually goes uh, like this, so that he can wrap his, his hands around holding that. And I'll show you that when we look at the poses. But that's what that hole there is for. And this hand is designed specifically to help him hold his weapons. So there you go. Oh, look at what he's doing. Beep. Last but not least, he has this trigger hand, which is nice because that way he can grab his weapon and also be able to have that trigger finger in place. So that's really cool. All right, so here's our Marcus with the first head sculpt. And that's the one without the bandana. Really nice looking. You have to really see uh, those eyes are just piercing in person. They actually have glim a glimmer in them, and it's hard to tell in this lighting, but it does. Really cool. Nice all the way around. And then here he is, the aged Marcus with the bandana or do-rag, sporting the Gears of War insignia there in the forehead area. And they still got the scar. You can see there the wrinkles in his face. It's just really amazing, the detail there. Really cool. See his hand positioning there for this, this uh, sub-pistol there he's got. That's really cool. You can see a use for that hand there, the, the one that's really open. So you could like grab his wrist to, to aim steady. But anyway, looking at his head here, that's what we're looking at. Look at the detail all the way around, even to the knot that's tied in the back. Really cool. And you can see his hair through there. Just a lot of attention to detail there. You gotta love it. And then finally is, oh, shh, it's late. No. <laughs> then finally, there's his uh, uh, younger, self sporting the do-rag and the uh, handkerchief and again even the details of his knot on the back there really cool really nice looking all the way around look at the the scruffies the stubble on his face I mean just look at the detail they give to that stuff isn't that amazing got the little Little patch of hair there on the lip. Scar. There's eyes. I don't know if you can see in this head. It seems almost like you can see the glimmer a little bit. 
That's the way all three heads are. Those eyes are very well done, very well sculpted. Just a lot of detail to these head sculpts. I'm impressed, extremely impressed. I mean, above the par. I mean, this is, to me, um, and I've only seen pictures. I have a, uh, a Hot Toy Superman that should be coming soon, but this is Hot Toys quality face sculpting, in my opinion, just what I've been able to see. Of course, again, I, I don't have one in hand, so I can't say that other than what I've seen in pictures, but I just think this is this is pretty top notch. So I'm curious, which head do you like the best on this figure? The young one or the older one? Let me know in comments. Next up you have your Nasher rifle, which is what it's called. See those looks like shotgun shells attached to the side. That's a really cool weapon with a lot of nice detail that gunmetal gray the black wash in it the handle and the triggers even has some detailed openings there in the bottom i don't know if you can see that there there it is and then he has a knife a ranger would have. Then there's the Lancer MK2 rifle. Really nice with, again with that detail. Looks like there's some blood on those that chainsaw looking device underneath it. And then there's the Lancer, custom Lancer. Love that blue trim that is in there. I like the look of this one probably the best. That thick magazine that is in this area right here. It's kind of neat looking with this blue trim in different places along the edge of that, along with that gunmetal gray that goes throughout. And then the brown that you have on the butt of the gun there. Just really nice detail. Really neat, neat looking machine gun for our Marcus Phoenix character to have. This is probably my favorite rifle. And then last but not least, you have this really neat looking snub pistol. That's what it's called on the package, snub pistol. You Gears of War fans may be perfectly familiar with that. And I wanna go ahead and show you a secret right now that's just so cool and those of you familiar with this figure already know if you own the other ones but look there's a magnet in that pistol that allows you to place his gun right on his side isn't that neat it's magnetic very cool all right, now to measure our guy here. He measures in, put it behind him here, if you can tell there, right at seven and a quarter inches. Right at seven and a quarter inches, maybe just a hair higher, head taller than seven and a quarter, all right? Now let's look at a comparison with him and some other Storm collectible characters. And here he is with Rau, a pretty good matchup here it looks like. And then here he is with another or with a Mortal Kombat's Ninja Rain. He's shorter. Rain is shorter than our featured guy here, Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War 5. And then one of my all-time favorites among Storm Collectibles, as I mentioned earlier, Prince Goro. <laughs> and then we can't cover our Mortal Kombats without Shao Kahn, who's also awesome and pretty much taller than our featured guest here, but he's cool too. Very cool. And then getting away from Storm Collectibles just for a moment, we can go to our Mythic Legion 
Fomus here. I like this character. He's quite a bit shorter. He's shorter when it comes to head. Be able to see eye to eye with his horns. He's he's close to the same height. Faunus looks like something possibly Marcus would hunt. <laughs> and then with some Marvel Legends fun. Check him out. That'd be interesting. He looked like something maybe in Gears of War 5 that he would have to go against. He's ready for him. He's got his rifle, his sub snub pistol, and his chainsaw there. <laughs> and just for fun, here's our jar Juggernaut. Junk Juggernaut. Can't even say it tonight. And just to switch it up just a little bit. Let's look at our Bandai Spirit SH Figure Art Thanos. Beside him. I think that's pretty good. Pretty good measuring up there. I like that. That looks good. Cool. And then for another video game dude to go along with him, let's look at Carbide from Fortnite and see how he measures up with a Gears of War 5 Marcus Phoenix character. Pretty good, pretty good matchup there. I like that. Obviously. Mr. Marcus Phoenix, Gears of War 5 Storm Collectibles is much more realistic looking in his presentation, but I still like it. Still looks good. And then for some Motu Classics fun, let's look at him with King Grayskull. This is King Grayskull in his dress fatigues. You don't have to bow right now, Mr. Phoenix. <laughs> His official gear there. And then, of course, we got to have He-Man in here. And he's quite a bit taller than our He-Man. He-Man has to look up to Mr. Marcus. But uh, maybe they can become friends, too. And just because I'm having fun doing this. Let's look at just a couple of more. First of all, Roblox from the G.I. Joe Figma 6 series. He's quite a bit taller. I don't think he quite fits in with these. There's Roblox. Roadblock from Sigma 6 G.I. Joe line, which I thought this was an excellent line of toys that came out. And this was Duke over here off to the side working on some of the technology and he's quite a bit shorter than Roadblock but still taller than our Marcus Phoenix. He still has to look up to him. And then finally again just because it's fun to do this let's look at him next to a Overwatch character. Wow, there he is. <laughs> That's impressive, isn't it, Marcus? All right. So there are some comparisons. Just wanted to set up for you. There's really one cool. more thing we need to cover before we get to poses, and that's articulation. All right, so let's go ahead and look at his articulation. Just look at how broad and how awesome this guy looks. He's just so impressive, and the detail to his clothing and everything is just phenomenal. And uh, so I just really like him. I think he's he's just really top notch. So let's look at his articulation and get an idea of just how poseable 
this guy is with 30 points of articulation. So, first of all, of course, the head. All right, now he, it's on a ball joint. He can look up about that much. He can look down with the help of that ball joint. And there is a ball joint that goes up in here and goes all the way down into the body. It's about that long and it goes all the way down into the body through his neck. So that moves some too and all of this is soft. Let me pop this off. This right here is soft. If you can see what I'm saying. And so that that part right there is movable as well with the neck some uh, because all that's gummy and soft. So that's that works good. All right, so he can look to the left and right. He can even do some really good uh, pivoting with that head in just about any direction you need. Look at that. I mean, you can do just about anything with this head. You can, you can it won't go back as far as maybe some, but uh, then you've got, you know, the ability to, to rock back. Then you've got gapping here. You can see up in there, some uh, into the cavity. And that's because all of this is soft. All of this up here. Now, this his abdomen area is not as soft, but all of this up here is. And so you get a, a lot of flexibility. This right here, shoulder pad thing, it's, it's not on a hinge. It's actually a plastic rubber type uh, soft. All right, so let's look at these arms. So you can go all the way up with those arms. Of course, that shoulder pad again it's soft it's it hinders a little bit but not much you're going to be able to get all the way up there you're going to have a um, you, you also have a little bit of a if you'll notice up in here there is a butterfly joint that will move also slightly and you want to be careful with butterfly joints on storm collectible figures because they can break or um or come out and you want to be careful about that. So you have to be very intentional about posing these figures, but they have excellent uh, posability. But just because of their tightness and, you know, it is plastic, so you just have to be careful, of course. Nice bicep swivel, nice uh, double jointed elbow, even with that elbow pad there showing, that's nice, covers up that joint, excellent. Same thing on this side. Nice bicep swivel, tight joints, everything's looking good, great. See that? You can see right there you do get that a little bit of uh, and it's so tight, but you do get that, you know, butterfly joint there. So nice, so nice. Okay, let's see. So let me move these arms out of the way just a little bit here so that you can see the torso area. And that, again, all this is soft, so you're able to move this to the left and to the right. You're going to be able to go back see it's showing a little bit there but you can maneuver that and you can move maneuver the belt a little bit but you can move back a little bit there I'm trying to just use the the rib cage area torso area and then you're gonna be able to move forward quite a bit and then you're gonna be able to of course go side to side a lot of posability there Really nice ball joint there on that. And then of course at the waist, and this belt does move. Again, all of this is soft. So you've got that belt that moves and you can see right there, you can see inside there, but you can hide that with the belt, but you'll be able to get, uh, and you can, you can adjust some of those clothes there. There you go. Move the belt back, but you'll be able to get pretty good far leaning backwards there. And you're going to be able to use that that hip or i should say waist ball joint along with the rib cage to go forward quite a bit you're going to get a lot of range of motion and also twist from side to side with that and uh, just being careful about getting these clothes and armor just kind of put back in place matter of fact if you'll notice let me pop the head off again you'll notice you can actually kind of move this up see how the peg kind of disappeared and then kind of move it 
down. You see how the peg got taller. And what I mean by that is this, all of this can be kind of shifted and adjusted a little bit to kind of cover up gaps and, you know, just make the, uh, the articulation work for you. But you have to be intentional about it. It's not as easy as some figures to pose, but absolutely more flexibility and options than most. So uh, just very nice, very nice. So you're going to be able to go, let's go on to the legs here. You're not going to want to do a full split because of the, the pants here. You see how it's going to bunch up right here on the side, but you can go a pretty good amount of distance there. I mean, you get, you get a lot of range of motion there in that, not quite a whole split, but just about, and it's going to stretch your rubbery clothing here a little bit, but you can put that back in its place. So you move that belt back get his torso back, kind of get everything situated back. All right, back to the legs. You do have thigh swivel. You have good range of motion. Look, you get just about all the way up with that leg. Again, it's just bunching up a little bit there, but that's to be expected when you've got this much clothes and armor, I would think, and then go back a good amount. You see it's crushing up on his gluteus maximus there. It's kind of bunching it up there, but that's all right. Looks mm, not too bad. And uh, so you get really good range of motion with the legs. And then going to his knees, you have this armor, this rubbery armor, which is uh, movable and it's soft. But if we move it down a little bit, you can see that knee joint. And it is a double jointed knee. You don't get quite as much as some figures because you have that thick muscular thigh here and then the clothes and the bunched up, the wrinkles and the texture. You see how nice that is. So that's as far as it's gonna go that way. And then you could even slide that armor if you wanted to, you could slide that armor up some before you bend it. And you see what happens when you do that. It kind of, like if it had been, let me straighten it up here. Then you bend it, it kind of hides that, that joint as if you'd had a, you know how some figures have a plastic piece here that's unmovable that hides the joint where well, you can move that one but or you don't have to and then it kind of hides that joint and it shows the armor there so that's kind of cool and there's kind of like a leather look around there with the buckles just really cool overall so that's the case on both sides and again with this one of course backwards forwards side to side swivel at thigh you have double jointed knees there and then one of the things I really love about this character was one of the selling points for me when I saw him in pictures and in reviews uh, even the other version of him was these boots I mean those boots are just really cool check out those boots I mean they look like you know some really high quality North Face or you know I don't know all the Timberlands I mean you know the different brands of boots but look at the detail the uh, the heel the tread just the the laces everything's there and and it looks really seamless too even though you do have boot cut I mean isn't that so nice I mean check it out you have boot cut but you can't hardly tell it's there okay you can go you're gonna be able to go up with that foot about that much you're gonna be able to go down about that much and of course you've got even toe hinge which is very well hidden I mean look at that it's almost seamless when you just glance at it but it's there very nice very nice and let's see if we have rockers here yep yep there are some nice nice rockers as well so excellent has everything you need to pose this guy out absolutely phenomenal and um, he stands good he's got a very good point of balance overall of course he is heavy and thick so you have to get him so he's very capable of doing just about anything you would need him to do very nice overall excellent articulation again you just have to be intentional about what you're doing to make sure you don't break something or cause yourself, you know, a headache by breaking a very expensive, a very nice action figure. <laughs> so cool. 
All right, I think we covered just about everything on this guy. And uh, you see how nice, look, the little, the little, just a little pack here on his back. Just, just really neat. Look at all the armor. I think overall the seams of his joints and articulation are covered very well. Again, I just love the detail to all this on the back. I mean, that black wash and just the, the color scheme. I just really, that's the reason I held out, like I said earlier, for this, this version, the Gears of War 5, because I love this color scheme. All right, so let's go look, get some pictures done. Please like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe if you enjoy my reviews. Always appreciate you stopping by. Be blessed.